Right, I'm going to start by asking you, what got you started writing this book? I had just moved to Seattle from Los Angeles, and I moved up here thinking that I would love it. It would be uh, a new chapter of my life filled with friends and like-minded people. And when I arrived, I was really shocked to find that I didn't feel like I fit in at all. Um, I realized how absurd that was and how kind of inherently funny it was to blame a city for uh, your personal problems. And so it just occurred to me that that would be a really funny character. And so I then thought, oh, uh, th that's where I'm going to start with this woman who uh, has personal problems, you know, has creative problems and blames Seattle and it's all of its residents um, on her personal problems. And then I was off and running. And so I thought that by having the daughter be putting this, this story of the mother together, it felt just deeply true to me because I felt like it, it also kind of represented that, that idea that parents, that, that kids are always a little bit in the dark about mm. their own childhood in some ways, you know, because they don't quite understand why the decisions were made and why they, oh, well, we were supposed to, you know, go here on vacation and then the night before my mom said, we're not going on vacation Be, and, and you don't know why. Yeah. You still don't know <laughs> when you're 50 years old and you're thinking like, wait, why didn't we go on vacation that one time? And so I just thought that there was kind of a, a sweet energy to put into the book of a child thinking that she understands the truth, but, but not, but then realizing she doesn't know the truth, but determined to try to learn the truth if such a thing is possible.